What's going on? What's going on, New York Yankee fans? Welcome back to another video. Hit the like button if you haven't already. Comment and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you know when a live stream pops or a video drops. Appreciate you all coming back and share this out. With that being said, we have some trade updates, trade deadline updates specifically for the New York Yankees. And I apologize for being about two hours late on this. Um, I was at the gym and I was doing my workout and I figured, you know what, instead of just doing a YouTube short like I always do, let's break it down and talk about a couple of different things. So the New York Yankees have traded for Jazz Chisholm, and we talked about this on the live stream with Gary Sheffield Jr. and Dylan Backer of Empire Sports Media during the All-Star break, some trade options for the New York Yankees. And we definitely mentioned Jazz Chisholm Jr. as one of those guys, that one of those guys that could fit the Yankees. And just first thoughts on the trade, I like the trade. I think it's a very solid trade. Uh, it's not anything like, oh, you know, a superstar or this, that, and third. But the Yankees got a quality player. There's no doubt about that. The Yankees definitely got a quality player. Um, Chisholm on the year has 13 home runs, 50 RBIs, 249 average, 22 stolen bases. I don't really like his strikeout numbers at 107, but nonetheless, he's also available. Even though he's had some injuries over the last couple of years, he's played 101 games uh, this season as of right now. So he plays multiple positions, which a lot of beat reporters and the national MLB reporters are wondering, which position is he going to play for the Yankees? Is he going to play second base? Is he going to play the outfield? Is he going to play third base? And this really tells a lot of Yankee fans one thing, including myself. This tells us that Brian Cashman is not done yet. The Yankees have to make a corresponding move because you can't have Jazz Chisholm on the roster and keep Verdugo and keep LeMahieu and keep Cabrera and keep Gleyber Torres. You have to move somebody in order to open up a bigger role for Jazz Chisholm. You didn't trade for this guy just to sit him on the bench. Now, obviously, there's a lot of, again, other things to come along. we got Stanton coming back. we got possibility of Dominguez getting called up. But... There is going to be a corresponding move. Now, it's probably going to be into another team, but we've also heard from Jack Curry that the Yankees are still wanting to do another deal with the Miami Marlins, which I'm a little surprised. I'm a little surprised that the Yankees didn't package or try to package Tanner Scott in this deal, but maybe they try to have a second attempt at going to Tanner Scott. Maybe they make it successful because he's one of the top closers on the market along with Finnegan and a couple other different guys around uh, across the MLB. I know there's one guy in Oakland. Uh, I don't know if they're trading him now, though, because Mason Miller is now on the injured list. So Jazz Chisholm, depth guy at worst, but at best a solid player. I think he could definitely hit a few more home runs. I, I kind of got myself tricked in with the Verdugo stuff that he would hit more home runs because of a lefty, not a lefty vulnerable ballpark, but it works for lefties because of the short porch. Hopefully Chisholm can do that. Uh, for the Yankees, increase his number from 13 to, to whatever it may be. Now, as far as the return for the Yankees going to the Marlins, they traded Augustin Ramirez, who is probably a low-end prospect. And I know about Augustin Ramirez. A lot of people have talked about him. Um, solid numbers. 269 in AAA this year, two, uh, 20 home runs, 69 RBIs, 18 stolen bases, 90 hits, and 335 at-bats. So, He's a solid catcher. He's even a better hitter. But my thing with this is that he would have never seen the light of day on the Yankees roster. You got Austin Wells. Right now it's Carlos Narvaez until Trevino comes back. If you would have brought up Augustin Ramirez, there would have been no room for him to play on an everyday basis because all of the attention and the playing would have been focused in one direction. That's towards Austin Wells. They also traded Jared Cerna with the Hudson Valley Renegades uh, this season for Jared Cerna. Solid stats. Again, another low-end prospect, even lower uh, on the food chain than a guy like Augustin Ramirez. 13 homers, 58 RBIs, 253 average, 11 stolen bases, 86 hits, and 340 at-bats. And you also go to the next guy who's only 19 years old, he's actually younger than me, uh, Abraham Ramirez of the FCL Yankees, 19 years old, 348 batting average, two homers, 24 RBIs. So likely a international signing for the Yankees when it happened from Venezuela, so you could kind of you know factor that in. But nonetheless, a lot of people expected the Yankees to give up something big for Jazz Chisholm, and 
Maybe they give up something a little bit bigger for a reliever or this, that, and the third. Maybe a Tanner Scott, they give up a higher-end prospect, maybe a Chase Hampton or whoever. But I like this trade, but it tells you that the Yankees shouldn't be done, and I don't think they will be done. Because, again, for Jazz Chisholm to get quality playing time, and you also got two more years of control, you need to do something with either LeMahieu, Verdugo, or Gleyber Torres. And I think Torres could be a piece that you throw in for a reliever or a starter, if you wish, or maybe some sort of a backup outfielder. So those are my thoughts on the trade. The Yankees are still interested in doing a deal with the Marlins. They are still in talks with the Rays over a couple of different guys, maybe Isaac Paredes, Yandy Diaz. There's a few guys in the mix. So the Yankees aren't done, but I wanted to get a video out explaining my thoughts and not just a 60-second video, but you know, more of a in-length analysis of this trade. But hopefully more to come for the Yankees. Don't forget to hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you know when a live stream pops or a video drops. Appreciate you all coming back. Peace out, guys. See you later. Stay cool.